this is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, so I just seen this weird article on uh, BoxingScene.com. Shouts out to Boxing Scene. I'll leave this article in the description box, and you can click it, read it, and come to your own surmise. Um, but let me just go ahead and read the article, man. Uh, <laughs> it's just weird. All right, it says, on Wednesday, there was an article in German publication Bild, Bild? I don't know, B-I-L-D which revealed that a fight was finalized between heavyweights Manuel Char and Oleana Solis for March 11th in Boone and with the WBA interim title at stake. The news was strange considering that Solis is not even rated by the WBA and Char is just getting his career back in order after getting shot in the fall of 2015. The sanctioning body has caught wind of the fight announcement and denied that it is ever sanctioned for a WBA title interim or otherwise the wba made it clear that currently there are two heavyweight titles floating out there vladimir klitschko and anthony joshua will clash for the wba super title on april 29th and shannon briggs versus freza kendo has been ordered for the vacant regular title both solis and char have had their fair share of ups and downs in their respective careers char was shot just after having lost by knockout to current cruiserweight contender Marius Breedis. That was a devastating knockout. He got hit with an uppercut. Um, Breedis was on the back foot. Boom. Landed the uppercut. Char went down face first. That was nasty. All right. Char returned in 2016 and scored two wins in 2016. None over contenders, though. Solis looked like the future superstar of the heavyweight boxing when he turned pro in 2007. But it looked all over in 2015 when he retired against Tony Thompson after a very poor performance. He was also overweight in that fight. Um, however, he came back in 2016 with two wins. Looked far from sharp, but here he is. The winner of this fight will, however, be able to cash in on at least one big payday. All right, now, weird, you know, that was weird, but I'm glad that this fight uh, wasn't for another title. I know the WBA right now, they're cleaning the house with these titles. I just read an article the other day. Don't quote me on it, but I think they... I think they uh got rid of titles in eight different weight eight different weight classes. I believe that's the article I read. So hopefully they hurry up and do it with the heavyweights. Um and I'm glad that this interim title was not on the line and it's not even around anymore. The last interim title holder, I believe, by the WBA was Luis Ortiz. He's the last one to have that title. You know, so right now he's the mandatory, but then I did some research and just looked for myself and just, you know, try to figure out what's going on. So I looked at, I went on box rec and I looked at uh, Manuel Char's last fight um, and he won a vacant WBA international heavyweight title. Um, so I don't know if maybe it was for that, but the WBA said that they wasn't sanctioning any uh, WBA fight for Solis. So I don't know, man, you know, 2015 was a, a rough year for Char, he did lose to Marius Breedis, and he lost uh, to Johan Duopa. Um, he picked up a win against Alex Leopold, though. You know, so Char, you know, he, he fought for the title before, um, came up short against Vitali. Um, you know, he's beat some notable journeymen, Constantine Erich, uh, Marcelo Nascimento, um, Owen Beck, Kevin Johnson, guys like that, even the old uh, Michael Grant. You know, then his last win was against a guy named Sefer Safiri, and the guy was 21-0, a guy that usually fights at uh, cruiserweight, but you look at Safiri's record, and I believe only one of his wins out of the 21 was against a guy against a guy that uh, had a winning record. And I think he beat another guy that was 8-8, eight and eight, and the other guys were all had losing records. So, you know, Charles was able to come back and win a unanimous decision in that fight. Um, but it's going to be him and Orlando Solis, and I'm not even sure who to pick in his fight, man. At this stage of their career, them at their very best, I would go with Solis. He was a gold medalist. He knows how to fight. Um, he can box, good defense, you know, but at this stage, you know, I know his last two fights he came in, uh, I believe, what, two at 240 pounds, and the other fight he was at 237 pounds, so he cut down on his weight, you know, but he's an injury-prone type of guy later in his career. Um, but stylistically, he could probably give Char some 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 problems, man. Probably land some counters on him. 
uh, make them miss and, you know, just try to outwork them like that. But I'm not even sure where to pick in this fight. I think it's 50-50 at this point. At their best, I would go with Solis. But right now in their careers, I think it's 50-50. You know, um, and Solis, two wins in 2016. One of the guys was two wins and 25 losses. Another guy was eight wins, uh, nine losses, and one draw. You know, so... I guess he came back and did what he had to do, and that's just, you know, knock the rust off to some degree and, uh, you know, just get back in the ring. But his last two competitive fights, he lost um, to Tony Thompson, lost back to f back fights against Thompson, you know, so, and one of them was a split decision. But, and he also a guy that uh, came up short against Vitaly. Yeah, that's the fight he got hurt. I remember that fight came on ESPN. They played that fight on ESPN and he got hurt. I think he messed up his knee or something. I can't remember exactly. His leg, his ankle or something, his knee. Something like that. I know he got injured. But um I don't know, man. You guys let me know what you think about this article about uh this not being for an interim title. They need to go ahead and just get rid of that regular WBA title. No don't you know, no disrespect to Fred Zakendo. I know he uh went to court to get his rematch for that uh regular title, even when Chigayev had it. That's when he went to court initially. You know, but at the end of the day, man, we just need one title uh her sanctioning body you know all these uh wba they just overdid it with the super and regular and inter i mean they just completely overdid it in my opinion but you guys let me know what you think in the comment section and who do you favor in this fight between solis and manuel char let me know what you think i'm out